Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tsarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly Tsarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2018 uh, and 19th, excuse me and so while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that that is a general reading for uh, Libra Star Sign and uh, for that reason it will resonate uh, in a different way with every single different Libra. So in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread as well as I will try to give you a couple of examples there so can make it a little bit more clearer but ultimately at the end you have to fit your situation personal situation just like I am doing with the examples uh, in this uh, video. Now uh, if you want me to do that for you and analyze your situation in a personal reading uh, you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you will find a, a full list of my services uh, as well as their pricing. So uh, Libras, uh, these are your four general cards uh, for the week and uh, the first one which is the core of uh, the topic of the week that will be the lovers card followed by the six of cups which is uh, the core of the situation here four of cups this is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and the death card that is the guidance so uh, that strongly suggests of a, a love interest here for what we do have or at least kind of like a, a romantic interest but it doesn't mean that you're gonna really give that person a chance so what we do have and also it could be as well a reconciliation as we do have the six of cups here into the core of the situation as the six of cups does resembles the past as well so it could be kind of like a resuscitating a, a previous relationship but if that's the case then the newly formed one it should be something completely different than what you had uh, in the past so literally you cannot approach that situation in the same way and uh, let's uh, draw additional card for the lovers here so we do have the ace of pentacles so this uh, this specific situation it does point that you will be completely thrown of board or what I say you will be caught by surprise now <clears throat> these couple of cards they both resembles harmony but in the same time they are active enemies so it does look like that this harmony that you can achieve is not through feeling it's uh, through feeling sound and secure it is not through uh, how can I place it through warranties or to prove that everything is going to be all right this harmony that you are about to achieve throughout this week or that the the opportunity that is given to you to achieve a harmony throughout the week is going to be based on initiation on activity and as well on risk taking if you want to say it that way the lovers card uh, back in time when the tarot was created was uh, was called the choice back in the day so it does look like that this is going to be as well a week of a major choice and as we can see in these couple of cards here the choice is going to be should I make it or should I break it either way really is gonna work for you because with the lovers card there is not right or a wrong decision it is just you know you have to kind of like uh, be resigned about the consequences of either decision you make. <clears throat> it is very important here however with the lover's card to really be able to discern the situation fiction from uh, from reality so uh, if you decide for example if this is uh, for a, a reconciliation if you decide to uh, to make it instead of break it you have to um, do it because how can I place it? You got to do it because you realize or you know what person you are getting involved in yourself with. All right. You should not do it just because you hope that that person is going to change with time. I mean, you get what you signed for at that very moment and that will not going to change. This is what I'm trying to say here by bearing 
the consequences. So you have to be very accountable to yourself which kind of a decision you make because again you cannot have enough warranties even if you want to that this thing that this thing is gonna go smoothly. As a matter of fact it will have its ups and downs but you will have your differences with either of the decision you make with either of the person that you are to involve yourself with here or with the projects that you are to work upon but hey differences is what makes us special to one another and through differences we are finding the true value of, of each person so uh, generally throughout this week here with these couple of cards it seems that you are going to find new definition of what makes you feel comfortable and what makes you feel harmonious and that happens through six of cups with the emperor card so what we do have with these couple of cards is uh, is a um, how can I place it the realization that you got to make a, a bigger aims or in some cases this card points that the, these couple of cards points that uh, you are uh, determined or back in, in the time in a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month ago you have decided for yourself that despite uh, some obstacles that you do have or disliking of some people you are to make what you think is right for you and uh, the rest of it can, can go to hell literally so these cards here are pointing that despite you may provoke some uncomfortable situations with yourself and those which are surrounding you at this very moment you have decided to take the matters in your own personal hand and really work toward your own personal future taking full responsibilities you know of the circumstances that you are to create by adopting such a, a situation and that really it's kind of like putting you in a prime position here with the uh, with the Emperor and the six of cups which is putting a lot of in stake but in the same time the benefits from it I mean really what you have to gain what you can gain from that situation it is a, a true wealth it is a, a true fortune and ultimately with these couple of cards that we do have the lovers and the emperor very huge synergy it is what we do have in between them and it means that your decision here will allow you to truly regain back control of your entire life relationship wise career wise uh, friendships wise friendship wise and etc etc make it the way you want it although the whole process may involve some risk taking and it may involve as well doing some small things some trifles which you would not rather want to do or you find a, you find them a bit beneath you but there will be necessary chores there so you can make the whole machinery work <clears throat> and uh, finally this uh, this specific enterprise here is going to involve as well some promises probably that you will have to make or some uh, responsibilities as well that you will have to attend to which you would rather not want to you which you would rather uh, pass uh, pass on but they will be a, a, a substantial part of, uh, of the whole endeavor and uh, you basically cannot have it without them it is no no dif different than for example an emperor that attends to to its empire to his empire and of course there are chores that the emperor has to do you know and make some tough calls but they are theirs to make i mean with a great power and with a great control comes as well a, a great responsibility the next card that we do have which is the challenges that you need to overcome here the four of cups with the two of pentacles it does point to some lingering um lingering tasks here which are coming as an addition to your enterprise over here that you are about to make a choice at. So what these cards here are pointing is that you will have to juggle in between your new enterprise and because and in between the current tasks that you already have and uh, there will be no other way around it to a point where you are to find yourself severely annoyed of the situation itself and probably you will try to find a way how you can diminish the uh, the 
the lingering tasks in the favor of the new enterprise. Now what you need to know here with these couple of cards is that you can definitely do it. I mean you can definitely diminish the uh, the current the current um, the lingering responsibilities in the favor of the current task, but in the same time it will be very difficult because it will require some adaptation and it will require some reshuffling of your daily routine as well something that you may find very very difficult what is important here with the two of pentacles is to realize that if you want to overcome that blockage of uh, time eating uh, eating lingering tasks you will have to uh, entirely rework your schedule for throughout the week and kind of set new priorities for yourself and that of course is going to be met with some um, with some opposition from uh, from those which those responsibilities here that you are yet to attend um, are depending on or kind of like that yeah these people are depending on on those responsibilities for example your boss uh, for example friends of yours and etc etc so let's give you an example here you know uh, let's say that you really um, meet someone that you want to be with or that is in an old um an old relationship of yours or a person of yours that's uh, approach you once again and you really want to make that thing work all right but your current social circle or even your parents are not very agreed with because while back in the time that person broke your heart so you have to do it despite them or even against them all right <clears throat> with these cards which is something that you don't want to do or you don't like to do but yet again you got to you got to regain back control upon that field of your life which is the relationship because otherwise otherwise these people are dictating the rules of your relationship and basically no one gets to do that all right and in the same time you are going to find a very little time to spend with this person because you will already have a, a tasks given to you like job wise you know or like a, a family chores or appointments with your friends and that's why you will have to reshuffle you know your priorities for throughout the week but these people that uh, already you had a, a priority toward are not going to be happy about it and for that reason you will have to kind of like put your communications here into uh into the matter and to show them that in reality you know uh, it is nice to um to maintain a positive attitude with everybody but ultimately you know your agenda comes first and the last card that we do have for you libra that will be the death card followed by uh, the five of pentacles and that is the guidance that Taro is offering to you so the more opposition you face here and the more troubles you face from those uh, from those people that you are literally abandoning or you are deciding in their disfavor uh, the more uh, they will push you toward that new enterprise of yours toward that new direction new project new relationship new job or something definitely that you want to decide in your favor that others are um, generically against so yeah, the more they, uh, the more they kind of like uh, make it difficult for you, uh, the more enthusiasm you will start to obtain to a point where you are going to force a, a new era in your life. You will burn some some bridges with those that does not support you which is very important as well with the death card here. That is, uh, how can I place it? <clears throat> uh, that is like... Uh, putting an end of the old world order and setting an end of a new one so for example you know your previous relationship ended and now a, a new one is forming and just because you are facing difficulties you know that kind of like triggers the sense that you are on the right track because uh, good things are happen when you put the toes behind it and they are not happening as a gift of fate and for some reason as well with these cards the whole sense of that you will do something for yourself is going to kick in as well which is going to further boost uh, your enthusiasm to do what you think is right and generally to do what you think is harmonious for yourself and as we said harmonious for yourself it will be most important 
throughout the week that you think for your own personal harmony instead of sitting on the current one you should make a decision to attract a, a new version of it as this week is going to be all about you finding what works best for you and what makes you feel more harmonious and what allows you to resolve a lot of difficulties for yourself for, for example being single for example not having a promotion at work for example having uh, having stuck with with your family or with your friends and etc etc it just it's gonna take some moves that will throw you off the harmony of being set into one place into the harmonious um, drive toward a new heights and toward a, a new era in your life so that being said Libras this was your uh, tarot reading now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they're about to show us is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. All right, so the first one that we do have, this is the clover and the clover stands for small amounts of luck. It also stands for small amount of success or in generally the word small. The next one, this is going to be uh, the the clouds and the, the cloud stands for diversion it, it stands for a, um, a, a confusion as well and in generally it stands for vagueness and then we do have the um, the fish the, the fish stands for resources money and growth so the way I see those the Norman cards it, they literally say that there will be a small confusion over money but nothing that you cannot resolve with a uh, some bigger elaboration upon you know the situation itself or upon the matter for um, that regards those money growth or resources that could be you know that you have asked for additional finances uh, from you know for a project of yours and your boss could have forgot about it or they could have scheduled it for a, a different date you know it is just not something major and it can be resorted out with a additional elaboration upon the matter so that being said uh, Libras this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th uh, 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again this was a general reading for Libra star sign and for that reason uh, is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Libra. Now if you want uh, your situation to be analyzed through tarot by me um, well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!